Oh, hello, it's uh, Fluffy Pink Yak here again, bringing you a fun standardy battle. Uh, it's against Chris the Master, who has improved a lot since I last battled him, as you will see in this battle, I'm sure. So, uh, let me just adjust my screen size so I can see what I'm narrating. Uh, okay, I lead with a Swampy, and he leads with a uh, Tyranitar. So, he's going to switch up out of there. Unless he's got in power, gra uh, in power grass or something crazy, but he doesn't. So uh, yeah, I get my rocks up for free, and he goes into Vaporeon, and that's where we are now. Um, I think he goes for a Toxic or something, but I had a Lumberry, so that goes away. And then I just earthquake this thing, and uh, all kinds of groovy uh, stuff happens like that. Um, eventually, I will switch. Which is now, because I go into my lean, mean drilling machine in the form of a Rotom H. Yeah, it's H. Uh, it's the microwave. Or micro oven, or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Something with boxing gloves. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to chase it out with the Thunderbolt, and uh, unfortunately, he's got the T-Tar, which is obviously going to be Scarfed and Pursuit, because everyone's running Scarf Pursuit Tar now, because the Meta game is so centralised around fucking Latias. Yeah, so I stay in and just stand about this thing because that's all I can really do, just go for the damage. Or get annihilated by a pursuit and die in one go. Um, I shouldn't say he's scarfed because he might be choice banded, but I'm betting he's scarfed. Uh, so he makes the switch into Gliscor, which I. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably should have seen coming, but I did not. Well, I did, but I didn't do anything about it. So, uh, Gliscor versus Helmance, and uh, unfortunately, he tricks. Not a trick, he taunts me. Uh, that really sucks because this is my Toxic Storm Mints. And uh, I can't Toxic him uh, or anything like that. And uh, yeah, he gets the. Um, what's it called? Toxic on me, which really sucks for me later, and um, I'm very tempted to replace this uh, Salamence with a bulk, especially bulky Dragonite or something weird. Or well, not especially bulky, just bulky. Um, so I can run like Heal Bell and um, be more bulky than Mints, but then again, Mints will intimidate kind of cool. And uh, something happened when I was babbling about Mints. Uh, I think it involves Sizer getting flambéed, so that's good for me. But yeah, this poison that's on me right now is going to be really, really bad later. Uh, it goes into Latias, and I go into my Rotom to see what it's going to do. You know, Death Fodder and all that. Uh, kind of hoping you Draco Meteor and lose all his special attack. But yeah, I can still go into Snorlax, which is my counter for Latias because it's Choice Banded and has Pursuit because. Um, uh, at least in OU I like running very very offensive teams and unfortunately uh, against stall teams it kind of belly flops and yeah he's got a sandstorm team with uh, three guys running toxic which is kind of overkill uh, in my opinion but um, yeah against stall I do really really badly with this team so um, after Sandwiches are eaten and Sandstorm's Rage and Poison takes effect. Um, something will eventually happen in this match, I promise you. I get a Toxic on the Vaporeon, and uh, this Vaporeon really bugs me at the moment because my two sweepers are um, Blaziken and Metagross, uh, both of which can't really touch Vaporeon, unfortunately. And I come to realise later that having the sweeping duo of Metagross and Blaziken is incredibly, incredibly heat tran weak. And uh, yeah, that you can probably guess what happens later, and it really, really comes to bite me in the ass. Um, so what can I do about that? Looking at my team, uh, I guess I can replace Metagross with something and just hope no one. Draco Meteors my face in. Or I could actually get an Inferno even instead of Blaziken, but then again, uh, Blaziken kicks Inferno's ass because Inferno's an ugly piece of shit with poor design. 
Um, so where are we? Uh, I'm about to explode on this Vagrion because uh, I'm really sick of seeing it and I want to get a sweeper in and speed this up. Because uh, all the time we're playing store games he's going to come out on top because he's got all the toxic users and the sandstorm on your side and uh, yeah so I'm just going to blow up on that thing and get it out of the way and then hope he doesn't have something that can take on Blaziken and Metagross uh, of course he does because I've already told you that because I like spoiling the whole match for you well it's not really spoiling it but yeah uh, so he goes into TTO and I go into Swampy expecting a switch because if it's scarfed it would be the fastest thing on his team and when switching from a double KO thing you always go into the fastest guy except I didn't because I knew he would go into the fastest guy and then I'd counter the fastest guy with a Swampy but he gets a crit crunch and uh, that really blows uh, ooh, did it actually matter in this match? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, hmm. I think that may have mattered more than I thought. Because Swampert could have probably taken an Earth Power from the um, Heatran and then killed it with Earthquake. So, I think that crit crunch from Tyranitar there actually mattered a lot in this battle because now I'm on such low health I'm just going to stay in and die from whatever and uh, yeah Heatran's his last guy and uh, he's going to earth power me and if I had more HP you know, I didn't get critted I could uh, earthquake that thing and kill it oh so that was really really bad for me I just didn't realise it at the time and um, we were on the Team Equinox chat and I was just like oh yeah, don't worry about it it's only a crit on Swampy uh, would have done a quarter or so anyway instead of half. Um, but yeah, now it's going to bite me in the ass because uh, he outspeeds my Metagross because I can't get an agility up without him fire blasting my face off. And uh, he doesn't miss a single fire blast which is really annoying. Out of the eight or so he uses. And um, I'm going to be speeding this next segment up to uh, four times speed because basically it's me trying to do something against this um, Heatran and failing miserably. Coming with drumstick here and sky uppercut and it misses, so that just blows even more. It's just rubbing salt in the wounds, really. And uh, now I speed it up to times four because all that happens for the next uh, couple of minutes is I try and stall out his fire blast uh, and roost. Gets another crit there, so this really isn't going too well for me. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep roost, um, roosting up as he keeps fire blasting. And what I should have done in theory was, um, well, nothing because Basically can't take an FR. So yeah, this is a losing battle for me all the way. Um, Salamance can't touch Heatran because of uh, the only two attacking moves it has is Dragon Pulse and Flamethrower. Uh, neither of which would break the sub, obviously. Um, Blazer can, can do something but not while that's behind a sub and um, plus it outspeeds so people are going to tell me to use Infernape because it would outspeed that Heatran and I still say no I like my Kentucky Fried Chicken and you can all fuck off with your stupid ape um, so yeah um, obviously the Dragon Pulse doesn't break the sub and I'm getting annihilated by Poison and we both run on that turn uh, for some reason he said he 